The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Afternoon. I assume everybody's fit and well in terms of uh, injuries. Can we expect to see major changes in terms of the starting eleven for, for this game? Yes, still I, I don't decide. <clears throat> I still not decide the, the the starting eleven, but sure, I think it's a, <clears throat> I think it's a com competition that um, maybe we used to to give the possibility to play for some player. I think after a busy period in Premier League, replay, Champion League, always is is important to assess every single player. But uh, yes, uh, like always, I I told uh, you all that for me always is going to play Tottenham. It's not about the name; it's about the collective. And um, I think to keep the the performance and the motivation, um, and I think it's so important. We have. 24 players that are capable to play in different competition. You've had a couple of days now to reflect on, on Juventus. Some people suggested it was possibly the best performance by an away team from England in, uh, in recent years. How do, you, uh, how do you assess that? I think if you put the first seven minutes, I think the performance was, was very good. It's true that was a little bit unlucky because, of course, the first goal uh, that we conceded... Uh, that for me was clear upside uh, didn't help us to 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 stay on the game uh, early and then it's true that was we struggled a little bit in the next uh, few minutes but after that we conceded the second goal the team uh, was so confident and trust in the way that we play and I think we start to dominate and, and play in the way that we wanted to play from the beginning the game and of course the performance was good and I think on the end to play in this way against Juventus uh, with um, all that means to play in, in, in a stadium like, uh, like Turin and then because uh, in the last three seasons they were a, a team that played to final, to Champions League final, always is about to prize the team. But that was good, but we need to think that will be a massive battle because, of course, Juventus have the capacity to win, not only in Turin, if not away from home. And, of course, uh, still a lot of work to do, and we need to perform very well if we want to go to the next uh, stage of the Champions League. I think now we are so focused in trying to, to keep this momentum, this form. Of course, that uh, <clears throat> we have all the players fit, exciting to play and be involved in the starting eleven to compete. I think we have ahead uh, the FA Cup, Champions League and Premier League. And I think three important competition. And of course... Uh, now all the squads need to feel important and need to feel part of the. If we want to success on the on the end, all need to give the the best. And of course, they are going to have the opportunity to show the quality too. You said you're going to make changes for this game, obviously, but it's still a massive switch of emphasis from going for a Champions League game in Turin against Juventus to the FA Cup at uh, Spotland in Rochdale. Is there a risk of complacency there, possibly? But I think it's a massive challenge for us to keep the, 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 the same level. Uh, I think I will be a little bit upset if we are not capable to keep the, 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 the same level of motivation. Because after to play Newport, I think it's a good example. And if you don't learn after Newport, it's because you are not clever enough to, to understand that if you want to win a title, if we want to compete for being one of the best team on the on Europe, is uh, is this <laughs> the imp the game is again Rochdale is important like was again Juventus or was uh, Manchester United Liverpool or Newport. For me, when Tottenham play, it's about Tottenham. It's about the competition, and if the FA Cup is an important competition, that uh, we have the possibility to go to the quarter final if we are capable to to perform us in the way that we are 
uh, we are competing and performance in the last in the last uh, months. You spoke about your concerns at the pitch uh, in Rochdale in the last uh, week or so. Uh, how much easier has the game become now that they've relayed the pitch? Is the surface that you're yes, more used to? First of all, I want to apologize to some people in Rochdale, the chairman or the people taking a, in a wrong way my comment. My comment always was about to care. First of all, the player of Rochdale, Rochdale our player, the competition uh, is a game that is, they are going uh, all England watching on, on TV. And after the replay, I remember I was in the with my coaching staff and when with Michael Flynn the, and all the coaching staff of Newport and they showed me a picture from from uh, after the game it was the Millwall game no replay, and yes was wasn't in a great condition and of course I was concerned about the FA Cup the football and the image that we are going to send but care for their player too not only for my my player. But and then it's a lot of comment around Tottenham. But always I was very respectful. And now, when I watch uh, through the the Rochdale, Rochdale we, uh, website, the the picture and the and the videos, and I think I need to congratulate them because the effort was massive to to put in the best condition uh, the pitch to play um, without risk. And only thinking in to to have a great uh, game, and um, and the football is, is going to win. And then, of course, uh, the performance, our performance, will, uh, will dictate who is going through to the next stage. But I think I think now uh, all we win, win Rochdale, win the FA Cup. Well, sorry, the FA win and win, of course, Tottenham. And I think the conditions are fantastic. Congratulate them because the effort was massive. I know very well that they work very hard to try to put in the best condition. And uh, uh, apologize again if some someone taken uh, in a wrong way my my words. Was it ever in your mind to have the tie switch to Wembley if only for safety reasons? No, 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 no. Always was. Of course, that in that moment when you asked me about uh, the situation of the pitch, because you saw in in, 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 in pictures about the the, uh, the pitch, was, was, we were worried, but about the about the, 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 the everyone, but we never talk because from the after this day uh, we receive, uh, of course, the um, the notification that the they were able to. To change, uh, rely the the pitch, and uh, they start to work very hard. And but uh, always, I was confident and trust in 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 they that uh, going to give their best to try to fix the problem. I want to ask you about Toby Alderweireld. I know you've spoken about his injury situation, his comeback, etc. There's been lots of reports though saying he's in dispute with the club over his contract. Are you worried about losing the player? I am going to speak about rumor. You know very well. Um, I never uh, speak about rumor. That is a many rumors about different player on the media, and different rumor about myself too. And you know that I am not going to. I am not going to speak about uh, to to the, the rumors. Away from the cup competitions, you've got league fixtures coming up against Crystal Palace, Huddersfield, Bournemouth and Newcastle teams around the bottom half of the table. You've said previously, very recently, that you think you can finish second. How big an opportunity will those games be after this game against Rochdale to put pressure on that second place? Well, I think it's, you, you know, for me, it's, um, the fixture is always difficult. Uh, with If you are going to play the derby against Arsenal, or if you are going to play uh, to Rochdale or uh, Huddersfield or Crystal Palace, um, I think for me is how we take this, uh, these games and how we um, take everything that is going to to happen. And I think for us it's a it's a massive opportunity. Our challenge and our uh, hope is to finish a higher possible. It's true that we are competing with big size, but I, we are confident in our quality. I think after. Uh, to play against United, Liverpool, Arsenal, um, or Juventus, I think we show that we are capable to to be consistent in our performance. And then win or no win, it's about football. That you know that 
uh, you cannot control this, but yes, you can control your 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 uh, in the in the way that you are going. You prepare yourself to compete, and I think we are so happy. Not only because we play well, we show quality. If not, that we were uh, always uh, prepared to compete in our in our best uh, version, and that is if we are capable to. Uh, to keep and be consistent to the end of the of the season, sure that we are going to fight for achieve uh, good things. Roy Keane said this week when he was analysing Liverpool and Tottenham, he said, for the last ten years, for those clubs to have won just one trophy each is, in his words, embarrassing. Do you think he's uh, being unfair there, or is he hitting the nail on the head? No, he explained the, the reality. He explained the reality, and then uh, the adjective that he put in this uh, comment, I am not going to. Uh, to say nothing because it's, it's his opinion, um, but I think Roy was. I love it to to watch him to play because he was a very passionate player. Was a fantastic, um, you know. But uh, nothing to say about his opinion. I respect his opinion, and but only describe the reality. And then if he put some adjective in in his comment, it's up to him. But you know, um, no, I respect him. I love it. I I, I, to, uh, I told you again. I love it to to watch how he play with passion and energy. Always, I was uh, fantastic to watch him play. Just, I know you've spoken to club media about Ryan Mason, your reaction to his retirement. Is there any potential in future for the him to be invited back to the club? It may be a role. Yes, it's only three days that he announced, uh, but uh, of course, personally. And of course, the club I know very well that we love uh, him, and of course that we will be open the, the door for him. First of all, he need to be now calm, relax, and thinking, spend time with his family, and uh, try to prepare himself. But I am sure that uh, uh, he's going to to take the right decision, and we are going to help if we need our our advice. And uh, and of course, uh, I think I told you um, that he's a bright brain, a football brain. He's very smart people, very clever. And of course, if he decide to go in the way to be a coach or do another another thing in in football, I think he has the capacity uh, to learn, capacity to to do. Anything that he wants to, to do in the future, sure. But the open the door is open for, for him always. Mauricio, oh. in the first game against Newport, in the first half, did your players get a real shock at the energy and intensity that Newport showed? And in a way, is that a good thing? Because it will get you better prepared for this match. Yes, I think it was a, a good... <laughs> it's good because... Um, we were capable to draw on the end and then to play the replay and now uh, the possibility to play again in this stage of the of the FA Cup. And I think it's uh, what I, I told before, uh, it's important to learn. Uh, I think we saw again Newport, it's a good example. If we are not capable to, to change that and and made, uh, or to find a way to to stay motivated and in the same level of Rochdale, um, like I told you, is uh, I am going, and we are all going to have. Uh, we will be sorry, upset about the situation because uh, we are aware uh, what happened when you play FA Cup, and um, and of course I understand that it's difficult to find. Uh, but if you we think only that is the FA Cup is the competition and don't care well, if we play again one or another team. That is the best way to try to find your motivation and say, okay, we have the possibility to go to the quarterfinals, and that is for me is the the motivation is there. It's not to play in one or another pitch, one or another club, or in front with different names of, of on, on the team. No. So if you were to win against Rochdale, you then have a quarter final. If you were to win that, you have two home games. Surely this is the your best chance of winning a trophy this season, the FA Cup? No, of course, I agree with you. That is one chance of, of to, to or 
be close to win a title, no? And then, of course, uh, today uh, Wembley is like uh, like home, and that is a little, a little maybe advantage, no? Because we we play a lot of games there, and now we start to feel that like home. But uh, now, but will be will be difficult always. I think we need to be focused now in the in Sunday. That will be tough and. And that the most important is is forget all that happened in Juventus or the previous game in Arsenal. No time because we don't have time to enjoy about to to win the derby or win uh, or the draw and how we play in Champions League. Now is be focused and connected in in a different game, different competition. Um, that will be tough and but for me is. Uh, is will be more tough, tougher game that uh, Juventus or, or Arsenal because it's this challenge, no, to be motivated to play in a competition that we want to go further, but uh, we need to this type of game. You need to to performance in, in your best if you want to win. Those of us who come here regularly often hear you talk about Tottenham being a project. Um, in the last month, with the matches that you have played and won and come through with a draw at Juventus, a draw at Liverpool, wins against Manchester United and Arsenal. How far has that project actually moved on? How much progress have you made in the last month? Well, I think, uh, like always, we we talk in football, no? To win games, um, you can win games during one season. And then, to win titles, you need to be consistent. And it's true that it's true. Sorry, that now we are competing better, and we uh, are um, we are showing that we are more consistent than the previous season. That is a big step for us. If we are capable not only to to have some period uh, being consistent, if not during ten months, to have the capacity to be consistent in our performance. I think uh, we will be very close to, to win title. I think uh, this season, from the beginning, we knew very well that it will be tough because from White Hart Lane to move to, to, to Wembley and be consistent in Wembley, you know, always uh, the team was from the beginning unsettled. But not only the team, was the, the our fans the same and everything. And always we start the season with many doubt from outside and that maybe affect the inside and uh, I think it's at the moment we are doing a fantastic season if we put all the circumstances that we um, that happened from the beginning and that is why uh, I, I, I told you we are more mature today and I think we are more prepared to, to compete uh, and we are more closer maybe uh, to to win title in the next few season because we are going to move to our new stadium our new home and always i think will be very help, helpful for the team to achieve all that we want and one last question from me uh, you often talk about the, the confidence of the players what about your confidence in the last month in particular when you see how well your team has performed does it make it easier for you to make decisions because you're feeling 100% that is a, an aspect that is a very good uh, your question because uh, no one asks how you feel Mauricio no the manager always uh, uh, looks that we can cope with everything and we are a, we are human too and uh, but our our job is to care about the player I am Always I am a positive person that try to care for everyone and and we feel very painful when decision you need to take decision. We have all the squad fit now and it's not easy to put three, four players out of the squad player on the bench. And um, I know for us it's very it's very painful, but that is my job and, and sometimes it's easier when you have few players or or player insured, but it's easy to do the, the squad. But when you have uh, all the player fit, uh, always is, is you feel pain with the players that are out. But that is, uh, that is football, and they understand that it's football, and, and then it's my decision. And, but I am, I am always a positive person, 
manager, confident in our job. We win, win, when we draw, when we lose. Um, I think the rest will not affect myself or my be my belief or my self belief. Um, of course, that you are more or less happy when your job is 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 good or is not so good. But always trying to 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 improve and learn and improve and learn and improve and always concern about the next. The next is difficult. Uh, after Saturday, after to beat uh, Arsenal. Because we deserve to win, because uh, we play so well. But Saturday night, I was uh, we were talking with the coaching staff, okay, to prepare uh, Juventus and this and that and that. But we never stop and make a break to say, okay, enjoy about that we what we do a uh, few hours ago. But that is our passion, is our job and. We understand very well what happened or everything that happened. Okay, thank you, Thank How are you? Mercia? I am very good, thank you. I'm now going to ask you about one of your players. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Harry Kane, I know you get asked often, uh, but Clive Allen was talking about his um, season record of 49 goals uh, for Tottenham and the chance of Harry Kane breaking that. He's on 33 now, that's two less than he had last season, and it's only February. Do you think he can break it? Eh, no, no entiendo qué, qué es lo que puede romper. Es un récord. Un récord about 49 goals. Es, es a, about yeah, Clive Allen's 49 goals in one season. Can Harry Kane break it? Ah, yes. For me, Harry Kane is capable of everything, to everything. Uh, I hope that maybe, no, can break the, the this this record too. And because I trust in him and because I, I know very well and I we are seeing him every day working, I can tell you that he's capable of everything in football, Harry. If one player is capable of everything, it's him because his mentality, his determination and, of course, his talent. Hey, last one. Um, Richard, Lucas Moura, is he fit enough to start at the weekend? Yes, we are thinking in, in to maybe to to give the possibility to start the game. We are thinking it's in our head. He's working very hard. We are pushing him. Um, yes, I think uh, we are thinking we need to assess him tomorrow and 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 see the um, how we can we can do. But uh, we are so happy with him in the way that he's working. And maybe he has the possibility to play. Yes. You were talking there about players who have tough fitness to leave certain players out. Uh, Fernando Lorente hasn't been in the last couple of match day squads. Is, is Sunday, if he plays, a potential chance to get some of that confidence? Back? Yes, I I think it will be important uh, for him if he ha if, if he has the chance to play Sunday. Harry, after the game, uh, he suffered some. Golpes? Knocks. And uh, of course, this is one of the possibilities that uh, start with with Fernando, no, Sandem. Um, and he, of course, if he is going to play, it's another possibility to show his quality and and of course to to have more more lucky than the last game. No? Tom, last one. Maris, you just said Harry took some knocks. If you choose to pick him on Sunday, is he fit to play? Sorry. If you choose to pick Harry on Sunday, is he fit to play? You just said he took some knocks. Yes, because uh, after uh, he twists his ankle, he receives some knocks, and today um, we need to, to assess tomorrow. Uh, and if he's fit, maybe it's the possibility to play. If not uh, 100%, maybe it's, it's good. Uh, if you not for playing 90 minutes, it's good to be on the bench. Or if we see that he's not capable, maybe to play. Uh, I don't know, half an hour or 45 minutes or 20 minutes, stay here, no? Like, like with all the players that we made the same, no? To assess, we need to assess him tomorrow. Is is possible to be on the squad or no? No, 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 no. We are not worried, but of course that the effort that he made in the last few weeks.